Good morning, TCHS. I'm Ryan. This is Chandler. And we're bringing you the news for this Tuesday morning. Um, for breakfast for tomorrow, because obviously y'all already eaten breakfast by now, uh, we're going to have a honey bun and a cheese stick. And today's lunch is cheese stuffed breadsticks with marinara sauce or cheese quesadilla with salsa, cowboy dip, tossed salad, Dick and Jane cookies, and fresh fruit and veggies. Um, Y'all can begin to vote for teacher favorites, even though that was like a couple weeks ago. They're doing it again because they need they need some more votes. So vote for teacher favorites on your Infinite Campus account. And um, we have seniors. There's three spots left for Grad Bash. The tickets will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. Uh, and they must be paid in full by the end of February, which is not long from here. And this goes for everybody that has paid down a deposit. There are five additional pages left for senior ad pages. Pages will be sold on a first come, first serve basis as well. Reminder, students interested in Excel dual enrollment college classes at ABAC or Multitech for the 2015-2016 school year. This is for academic core classes only. English, math, science, social studies, and foreign language. Uh, the Multitech deadline is February 28th. Please make sure your name is on the Excel sign-up sheet. Please sign up to take the Compass test in guidance. Make sure you pick up an Excel packet. Uh, Work-based learning sophomores and juniors, if you're interested in the work-based learning program, applications are available in room 318 or on the school website under activities slash athletics. Read, fill out completely, and return. Applications are due back by March the 11th. <clears throat> Tuesday, March the 3rd, is the last day to register for um, your SATs, and the late registration is on March the 14th. Uh, Friday, March the 13th, is the last day of regular registration for the ACT, and uh, late registration is uh, April the 18th. Wednesday, February the 25th, Kiwanis Art and Music Showcase is Friday. March the 6th at 6 p.m. in the pack. If you have artistic or musical talent, see Miss Sylvester in room 125 for an application. Applications are due by Wednesday, February the 25th. Top winners will be eligible to move to statewide competitions. The top winners in the Georgia Statewide Art and Music Showcase in grades 9 through 12 will receive educational scholarships up to $3,500. <laughs> Uh, seniors, make sure you're voting for uh, senior favorites. You can do that on your Infinite Campus account. It's under your inbox. That ends Friday, so make sure if you want to cast your vote that you cast it, so it will count. Uh, the Georgia Military College is coming to TCHS on Friday, February the 27th, and South Georgia College is also coming to TCHS. They will be here on Friday, March the 6th. Mm-hmm. If you played varsity football for two or more years at TCHS and will attend ABAC in the fall, stop by guidance and a counseling office today for more information about a scholarship opportunity. The Georgia Fire Sprinkler Association essay has to be a thousand words that makes it eligible, eligible for a thousand dollars. For more information, please go to http dot dot backslash www.georgiafiresprinkler.org backslash events backslash essay contest. Deadline for that is March 10th, 2015. Um, if anyone is interested in applying for the Summer Yale Young Global Scholars for Outstanding High School Students, you need to submit your application by Thursday, February the 26th. Um, 2015 local scholarship applications for seniors are due by 3 p.m. on Friday, February the 27th. You may choose up to five local scholarships and apply to them. Do not procrastinate. Last-minute transcripts and or letter of recommendation requests will not be accepted. Good luck to all the seniors. Monday, March the 2nd, the Cockett EMC is accepting applications for area high school juniors to compete for a spot on the 2015 Washington Youth Tour. The applications can be filled out on the website at www.cockwittemc.com. Uh, you can contact Joni Fox at 229-386-2278. For more info, and the deadline is March the 2nd. I've said that already, but throwing that out here. Uh, the DOCO Credit Union Scholarship deadline to apply is March the 20th at 5 p.m. Uh, Senator David Schaffer, SA Scholarship deadline is 
uh, February the 27th. Uh, these scholarships and others are posted on the guidance webpage. If you, your family, is a plant tail telecommunication, plant tail, or TIFNET customer, applications are now available and guidance for the FRS scholarship. Deadline is March the 2nd. And now we're going to have some upcoming news from our FFA members. Today is Blue and Gold Day slash Tutu Day. Wednesday, you are my blank to my blank, like salt to my pepper, and it's also duct tape day. FFA members, get directions to Black Shank Farm for the chili cook-off supper tonight. Remember to be on the lookout for white FFA emblems. When you find one, bring it to 305 for a prize. The subject for today is what FFA has to offer. It can offer you career experience for the agricultural industry. FFA offers you opportunities to earn scholarships for college. You can meet new people in the ag community to gain future friends to help you later in life. A wise man once said, it's not what you know, it's who you know. It allows agricultural skills to improve from doing career development events in FFA. It develops your leadership skills by going to summer leadership camp. FFA has competitions where you can win prize money. FFA also teaches you record keeping skills to help you in your career in the future. Thanks FFA members. Now we're going to move on to some sports news. Okay, we're having some technical difficulties on our slides, so I'm going to read it off this paper. Um, congratulations to all of our Lady Devils for the amazing effort this season. Um, Sky Moore was named the Region Defensive Player of the Year. Monisha Goldsboro and Audrey McLaney were both named to the first team All Region. Dale Attaway was named the second team All Region, and Vanity Golson was named honorable men honorable mention. This has been another TZHS News. This is your boy Chandler Hammy signing off. I'm Ryan. We'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.